Hello everyone, this is part 2 in making a Flappy Bird game in Scratch. So, if you haven't seen part 1 yet, make sure to check it out. Link is in the description below. So, so far I show you how to make a flapping and falling bird and moving pipes. So, if the bird touches the pipe or if the bird falls down, the whole game stops. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how to code a never-ending moving background and a game over. Okay, let's get started. So, we'll paint our background. So I adjust my background by drawing some point and adjusting them. So when you draw or adjusting, make sure that this and this point is equal. So you can check it out by drawing a line. So let's draw a line by holding a shift. So okay, it's equal. And make sure that this point and these points are filled. So when you're making clones, so that won't be a problem. And now let's go for our coding. Oh, when green flag clicked, we need to show. and go to X, 0 and Y, 0. It's okay. Okay, it went there. So, and we need to go for loops. And we need to go backward 10 layers. And now we need to move the background so it can come here and reappear here. So for that we need to create a block. So I'll just name it as move. So go for looks, we need to set our size to 150% and we need to change x by negative 3. So go for control and grab if the statement. So our X portion is lesser than X portion is lesser than negative 464. We need to set X X position multiply by negative one. Eight clones. 
minimize the screen. Go for control and grab these three blocks. When I start as a clone, create clone of myself and delete this clone. Okay, first we'll create clone of myself. So for that, when green flag clicks, we need to create clone my, of myself and we need to forever move. So okay, I'll just minimize the screen. So when I start as a clone, we need to set size to 150%. I need to change x by negative 3. Oh, we need to go to X. Four hundred and eighty and Y zero percent. And we need to set size to hundred percent. And we need to forever move. So and we need to delete this clone here. So let's test it. So, okay, our moving background works very perfectly. So, it doesn't stop until our bird falls down or hit the pipes. Now, we paint our game over. I'll draw something visible on the screen. And I make the outline more darker. And we'll type game over. So I like the pixel. Game over. And now I'll choose black. I feel like gradient, like so. Okay, now we go for a flappy bird and copy the whole thing and paste it here. We'll maximize the screen and draw like it's crying. So okay, now let's go for the coding. So we need to go for floppy bird and near this top all we need to broadcast a new message and I'll tell it game or okay now go for a game over sprite. So when green flag is clicked we need to hide. 
you need to hide and when I receive game over we need to show and we need to set our ghost effect to like 15 so okay now let's test our project so our bird flaps and our pipes move and our background too moves and a game over appears when we hit or when we fall so okay that's it for this video in the next video I'll be showing you how to code a retry button a menu button and start button and all those buttons and so that's it for this video so please make sure to subscribe like and share